Uh, here's a question. Here's a question. What's the probability that x is equal to 5? Exactly 5, right here. The, the probability that the coin is will be found exactly at the spot 5. Yes? 110? No, no, not 110. Somebody? It will be 0. Why? Uh, because, like, at that exact point, it would At exact point. Like the, the yeah, you can't, you can't have that in a continuous, right? So, one way to say it would be, well, that would be like integrating from 5 to 5 of 110. That's 0, right? In a continuous distribution, there is no such thing as exactly something. It probably will only give you values if you give an interval. Uh, it's similar to the following question, like, uh, if on a table, try to uh, make your fingers touch the table exactly at the same time, exactly, down to femtoseconds. Is that possible? No, it doesn't work. Technically, it doesn't work. You think that you did it, but if you use a really, really high-speed camera, you'll see that one is touching the table before the other, right? So when, when it comes to continuous distributions, there is no such thing as the probability of something happening at a point. It's zero. It's always zero. So uh, in my previous explanation, I was doing uh, something like this. Uh, f of 8 minus f of 5, which perfectly, what, what does this mean? This is the probability that x is between 0 to 8, and you're subtracting probability of x being between 0 to 5 and because fi the, the, the case when x is exactly equal to 5 is being subtracted this really calculates probability of x strictly greater than 5 and less or equals to 8 which is kind of different from example 1. Example 1 has equality in there, right? But Nonetheless, this has the same probability as if you include 5. Okay, then they're the same thing. Because one point does not have any probability in continuous distribution. That, this is the major difference between a discrete one and a continuous one. In discrete, there is a big difference. Okay, so, uh, so for example, let me, let me just... Uh, give you an example in terms of binomial. You have a question? Yeah. Oh, because what is this? This is what is this? This is p of five. This one minus the case when p p of x is exactly five, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're t taking away the case when x is five, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what is this value? You just decided that's zero. Mm -hmm. So subtracting zero doesn't do anything, so these two must be the same. Okay. Uh, that's because probability at each point in a continuous distribution is zero. Yeah. Probabilities are positive only when you're provided an interval. But uh, it, let's kind of compare this with the uh, discrete case. So uh, in the discrete case, uh, consider x following, say, binomial NP. So that, uh, which means your probability density function this time uh, is, oh, is given as n choose k uh, p to the k power q to the n minus k power. That's the formula for the, the probability density function for f. And uh, if you are being asked, let's just say n is 10, so that's kind of similar, but it's very different. Uh, if in here we ask, what's the probability of x between 5 to 8, then you are to use 
final CDF function in your calculator. Then you would you would think that oh I should do eight minus five, but that's not true. So uh, in the TI eighty four calculator binom CDF, you have to provide the number ten first, and p is some p value I don't know, uh, some value that will be provided in the question, and then you would put eight so that it calculates this cumulative distribution from zero to eight, right? And then you would subtract binom CDF of 10p, what goes in here? 5. No. If you put 5, then you only get the probability for 6, 7, 8. If you want to include 5, what should you put here? 4. four. You have to put 4. Because in, in here, the, the probability, the, the values that x can take are from 0 through 10, that you have 11 points, okay? And then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. If you want 5 through 8, then from over here, you have to subtract this much to get 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. So look, if I want 5, 6, 7, 8, from 0 through 8, which is this biome CDF, cumulative distribution function. Cumulative means you add everything. So CDF of 8 minus 0 through 4 will leave you with 5, 6, 7, 8. Does that make sense? So that's the big difference. 